So the location for the crank sensor on this Jeep is in the bell housing. And there's one mounting bolt right there, and the other mounting bolt is right there. There's the sensor. You can follow the harness and disconnect the harness. But to you get this out, I recommend a long extension. First thing I want to do is disconnect the harness from the bracket that is mounted on the transmission shifter cable. So you have two connectors here. The left side is the O2 sensor, and the right side is the crank sensor. So we're just going to use a trim tool and see if we can prop that out. Now I can reach up and disconnect that, pressing down on the tab, and just give it a pull. Nice. You might be able to see even a little better now with that out of the way. So I use a long extension, 3 8 and it's a 7 16 swivel socket to get on there the best. You get two mounting bolts, that's it. Here's the top one. Okay, that one is pretty much ready to come out. I'm going to dismount the lower one. There we go. Now with both the bolts out, we can reach up and try to get that sensor out. There we go. Fish it down this way. I'm going to replace the plastic cover that fell out of the bell housing. The flat piece goes against the engine side and it's got some notches in it. Sometimes it gets petrified because it is plastic and oil touches it, so just wedge it in there. There we go. I get that one started by hand. And then the other one I might have to guide in with it in the socket. I'm just going to hand tighten them both so they're snug up against the block. So this is a 716 swivel, like I said, and the torque spec is 14 foot-pounds. Now, I don't know about you, but you really can't get a torque switch up in here. So if, as long as they're tight, you don't use an air tool, you should be perfectly fine. Now it's time to connect the harness. The new sensor does come with a nice little plastic prong on it so it can fit right into the bracket where the old one was. And it's a three wire system, so I'm gonna plug that right in. All right, now we're good to go.